Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk a few. So one of the things that we get into is uh, sensors and how do we enable our uh, our FEST teams. And so can you guys talk a little bit about some of the array, things that are currently out in the field today that engineers are using, and then we'll talk about where you think it's going. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so this is what we call our environmental toolkit. And we send it out to the different FEST groups um, and they use it to like basically just check out the site as like a yes, no answer. Are there contaminants there that we need to take care yeah, so of? So there are, there are going to be folks that aren't familiar with what a FEST team is. Can you describe that a little bit? Yes. So I do not know what the acronym stands for uh, with all the acronyms in the government, but it is basically the... Ford Engineer Support Team. There you go. Yes. <laughs> So they go out and basically they do like a recon of the site before the soldiers get there. And so it's basically just making sure everything is clean and um, in a good environment for our soldiers to come in and set up camp. And so what we send with them is we have what we call our soil quality analyzers. And what they do is you put them up against like a solid surface and they scan all the metals in the soil. So in 60 seconds, you know exactly the concentrations of all the metals that you need. But not only can it be used for the soil, you can use it for the walls. They go out, they need to see if there's lead paint in the walls or if there's anything in the floor. They can do all that and they know within 60 seconds. So it's super quick. Um, we also have our air quality meter. And what this does is it analyzes uh, all the different gases. And so it's just constantly sucking it through with real time. But it also comes with a probe where you can put it into confined spaces. And so moving forward, what we would like to do is connect those onto drones or even like robots. And that way we do not have to send our personnel in if it is a harmful environment. They can know beforehand and it logs the data so that they can just put it in and know exactly what they're breathing. It also comes with 25 different sensors so we can interchange it. If there's a specific gas that someone may be concerned about, we can make that happen. Um, we have our water quality meter. And so what we have here, it has five different parameters. And as soon as you drop it into the water, it is giving you the real time data as to what the parameters, whether it's like pH, is it acidic or not? Looking at the turbidity, dissolved oxygen, anything that they need to know for pure water. We also have what we call as our pet kit. So it is our petroleum extraction kit. So I don't know if you can see that, but it fluoresces if there's petroleum in the soil or in the water. And so it's a very quick visual kit that they can just extract the water and then know if there is oil in there. So currently we have eight to 10 kits that are sent out on a regular basis. So the best teams reach out to us and they tell us, hey, we're getting deployed at this time. Can you have a kit ready for us? And then um, once they get done, they send it back. We calibrate it, we maintain it, send it out to the next group. So it is just ongoing. Yeah, and so, you know, all of this is not readily available. Uh, if you're down in an engineer platoon, an engineered company, but the key is, this is available in the FEST teams. That's right. And so, you know, when you are getting ready to build a base or you've got, you're doing stability operations and you're now uh, in a urban environment, you've got to figure out what are the hazards. What sappers need to know is this is available, FEST teams can have it, and they can bring it to bear on your battlefield and really, really important. And then where do you see this going? So you were talking about all this is handheld, but we're getting ready to go to sort of a remote delivery and sensor. Is that where we're going? That, that's right. So we're actually in the process of making the ETEO kit version two. And so we get feedback from the FEST teams as to what they would like to see moving forward. And then we're trying to make that happen. And so we have handhelds that are gonna detect radioactive material. Um, we have asbestos meters. We are also incorporating drones into it so that they can put the sensors onto the drone, fly it into the area that they need to go. Or if it's a cave and they need to put a robot in there, they can do that as well. And so um, we love to hear feedback. They want like infrared cameras to be able to see into the walls and whatnot. And then we're just taking that and moving forward. And so hopefully that will be out real soon. I know we're gonna talk about the Euroc in a second, but if somebody had a, a problem and they needed to get some sort of sensor or know whether there is a sensor that can help them detect whatever uh, hazards out there, they can go through the UROC and they come to you guys and then we solve their problem. Absolutely. Yeah. So it is as simple as a phone call or an email. I was talking to a couple of people this week and they were like, how do we do this? I was like, 
Here's my card, give me a call and we'll make it happen. Yeah, so yesterday, uh, one of our Army divers was here and was talking about you know, the, the issues that they have with creosote in the water. Mm -hmm and uh, you were already trying to help solve that problem. Absolutely. It was fantastic to watch. So we're gonna keep moving on. This is one part of Erdic. Let's go to the next one.